There are significant improvements in the literacy and numeracy at the PEP level as the 2024 results released on Friday showed majority of the students who sat the exams received proficiency and were placed in the schools of their choice. Our reporter Courtney Lewis has the breakdown. More than half of the grade 6 students who sat the recent primary exit profile exams PEP are labeled proficient in subjects to include mathematics, science, social studies and language arts. With close to 35,000 students registered who sat the exam, over 60% were deemed proficient or highly proficient in areas of language arts and 55 deemed proficient in mathematics. The results speak volumes to the nation's developments in the areas of literacy and numeracy as performance has increased by 7% and 3% respectively compared to the previous year with the ministry seeking to improve these results in the future. So we would have taken the grade 5 PEP and looked at it, analyzed it and um, tailored the intervention to recognize the weak areas identified in PEP5, right? And we will continue to do that deep dive into the data so that we can help our teachers, help our students, and as we grow year after year, we would absolutely expect to see that transition into those top categories. Minister Williams, in her address, also reminded parents and guardians not to be discouraged by labels of low proficiency, but urges them to pay more attention to their children's academic needs. So I want to pause here to say to all the mommies and daddies, if you see the red on your child's report, it means they need some extra help in the form of tutoring after school, active lessons, more attention at home. We would encourage you to sit with them, listen to them read, but we also want to encourage you to be patient with them. Don't yell and scream at them. They are developing at a different pace and they need your ongoing abiding support. And when the child teacher calls, we want you to go to listen to hear what the teacher is saying to see how you can support um, your child better. She further encouraged parents to consider the effects of their children's transition into high school even after the PEP examinations. In high school, your child is going to need you way more than they needed you in primary school because remember, they are also going through a stage in which they're beginning to realize who they are. They have to begin to manage their emotions and all of that. So parents, I'm calling on you. This is not a time to let go of your child. It's more of a time to embrace and to support. Courtney Lewis for CVM News.